Let's review a moment in my streaming history that dates back to whenever I first started streaming. This strange encounter I had with a viewer changed the way I look at and value my community. It was crazy. Now, picture this. I'm live streaming Minecraft, okay? Just farming when suddenly the chat moves, I glance over to see someone new. Pivy is the name. Without a moment's hesitation, I immediately start engaging. We go back and forth about what Pivy even is. I had no clue. I had no clue. I've never seen the TV show or whatever, which I found out was in fact a TV show. It looked bad, not gonna lie, but I let them go into detail about what it even is. Megaverse of all like Cartoon Network. It was just strange. Things started to take a little bit of a weird turn as my normal viewers, the reoccurring ones, would join back and they were just sitting here just talking and everything was casual until Pibby, Pibby, relentlessly begins to tell them, I'm a 17 year old girl whose parents are no longer with us. Not sure why we made sure to comfort them and and be like, hey, you know, I'm sorry to hear that. I also had another person in my chat that had something similar happen to them. So they were able to like sit here and go back and forth. We knew in the beginning that it came off as a little strange why you felt the need to talk about that as like your first introduction. No clue. So we kind of thought it was a lie. But we let it slide, and after a few days, Pibby became the first person in my live streams before they were even live. They were just sitting in the offline chat, just sitting here calling me daddy and, and like other nicknames. So it, it just it just felt weird, and I, I was getting bad vibes, okay? It felt so weird, uncomfortable, that I just banned them outright. Like I didn't I didn't want to to see it anymore. It just didn't feel the same as if someone else like reoccurring viewer would do it because I know that they're joking about it, right? It just didn't feel like they were joking. I don't know how to describe it. It was just that vibe, bro. So yeah, I straight up banned them, but only for them to come back with a new name, Katie. Now here's the Katie era. Here's where it all begins. This is where it just it starts getting so strange because this was a different account, but I think this was their main account. Judging off of the way that they came in the last time they started typing and whatnot, I kind of remembered that it, I got that same feeling. So I figured they were the same person in the beginning. The nicknames stopped so that they weren't using the word daddy and, 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 other, and other like nicknames like that. So I was just like, okay, Maybe they got the message not to do that. So they stopped doing it. I let it slide. A couple weeks pass. Coming up, coming up on that, on that short little bit, they started to ERP with my, my viewers. So many words were banned. Like I had to go through and, and do a purge of like words that, that were not allowed. But I immediately felt off about the whole ERPing. Like this isn't Valorant. This is not a Valorant game. Okay. So don't ERP in the chat and, and everything's normal. I decided out of nowhere to uh, to do a little deep diving. And so I, I did a deep dive on, on this person's account. And unbeknownst to us all, it's not a 17-year-old girl. It's not even a girl to begin with. It is some 30-year-old man who makes creepy videos are centered around stuffed animals. I don't know how to describe it. It would be like, if I had a stuffed animal, I would pull it up and I'd, I'd like replicate it, but I, I just, I, I can't. And and so it's like, imagine like a, a cat stuffed animal and a tiger stuffed animal. And, and then he's like over here talking to him. And he's like, Ooh, you like do it, doing the whole like baby voice. And, and he was sitting here like talk, talking to them. Like they were real people. Okay, this dude, something, something was not right in these videos. And then after, after he sat here and like made them do things together, he started smashing them until their, their head seams would come apart. So he, he was like killing the stuffed animals. Why? It, it just was so creepy. And then as that was going on, he would do this laugh. It sounded straight out of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Freddy Fazbear laugh. It, it, it was so weird that I immediately clicked off, but then I came back, right? Because you can't just watch one. You got to see, you got to see, get a feel of who he is and what he's all about. Yeah, they were pretty much all the same thing. He, he tried making short movies of stuffed animals fighting and 
just being really weird, you know? So I came back and I immediately blocked him that same night that I found all this out because I thought he was just lurking in my chat trying to find young people because I was streaming Minecraft at the time. So I thought he was just, you know, trying to get his, get his freak on with, with, uh, the people of Minecraft. Uh, I hope I never meet this guy again in, in my chat. So it's gotta be the weirdest encounter I've ever had while, while I've been streaming. It definitely brings out some real freaks, man. It could be on the list of any Diddy freak off. All right. Honestly, I'd give this dude, I'd give this dude the, the medal for top contender winning the freak offs, man. It, this guy was, this guy was whack. All right. So be on the lookout for anyone named Pibby. All right. Well, obviously now, um, probably go by a different name for sure. Uh, hell, they could probably still be in my chat. I have no clue. Yeah, uh, what about you guys? You guys have any strange, strange happening, strange occurrences in your daily life that you feel free to share? I'd love to read them in the comments down below. No matter how strange, freaky, whatever, doesn't matter. I'd love to hear them. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Much love, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.